Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here. So it's been two weeks since I released my first person mod for Paul World. And in those two weeks, I've been working very hard to try and fix some of the bugs, improve its quality overall, and really polish the mod up from the version I released two weeks ago. Now, I'm really proud to say that for the most part, the mod is in a far better state than it was upon release, and most bugs and issues have now been fixed. Over the course of this video, I'm going to talk about what I fixed, um, really uh, <laughs> what difficulties I had to go through to fix those things. Um, and then I'm going to talk about, to, to finish up the video, some of my plans for the future, and as well show off some of the footage of the new update. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. So first things first, uh, one of the issues in the initial release of the mod was a kind of issue regarding camera angles. There was a lot of clipping problems, a lot of really just, you know, you could see the camera's face, you could you can you couldn't see certain things, but you could see like giant bulging eyeballs just back in the middle of the screen if you stop suddenly. Uh there was also issues where sprinting wasn't working properly. A lot of those have been fixed. Uh I completely reworked how the camera is placed, which has cleaned up a lot of the bugs regarding being able to see the, cam the the character's face. I will note that there are still plans to try and clean this up even further. I have some other ideas to try to like really polish it. But at the moment, it looks far, far better than it looked upon release. With a whole lot less clipping bugs. There's no more bug where if you stop suddenly, you see the camera, uh, see the character. So stuff like that greatly improved. The next issue was the mount bug. The... One of the things upon release that I really stressed was do not ride a mount because it will violently break your game. So it makes logical sense that this is one of the first things, besides, you know, not looking great, that I that I fixed and I really focused on. The mount bug was caused by the camera that controls you while you're riding a, a, a paw is a specific camera that the mod had absolutely nothing to do with. Now the mod does have something to do with it. The mod does have control over this camera, which allows you to ride mounts and it will not cause massive game-breaking bugs. You can also enable the first-person camera while on a mount. That is totally possible, and, and that will work, or should work. The next thing that was a large request, especially when the mount bug was an issue, was the ability to disable the mod. Um, because originally the only way you could disable the mod was going all the way back to the title screen and reloading. Um, and this is because there was really no save states. So it became a necessity to be able to disable the mod, especially with issues like the mount bug that could only be fixed by disabling the mod. Um, so I began working a lot on that. And it's I can now say proudly that it's it's in the current build. You can now disable the mod using Alt plus V, and that will reset your camera angles. And the reason this took so long was because this mod was written in blueprints instead of C++, which in retrospect was a massive mistake. I am somebody who uses C Sharp and C++ pretty much exclusively in my modding experiences, and blueprints, as much as they're coded as beginner-friendly, just something I, I don't like. I don't work very well with blueprints. Um, and one of the big issues I had was that when you save a variable of a component in blueprints, you're not actually saving the parameters of that component, you're saving a reference to it, which means you can't use that to save properties, which is a huge issue. And that took me a while to actually learn that that's a thing. But once I did, I saved the properties. They're all saved as variables now, and now it will work. You can disable the mod using Alt B. There really shouldn't be any real problems between alternating between the two of them. So those are the major changes. The bug is now oh, the bugs are now greatly reduced in quantity, and the quality of the mod as a whole is something very much befitting of a full release that I'm happy with. Um, in terms of moving towards the future, what are my plans? Well, one of my plans is definitely I'm going to start working on some other mod. This mod feels polished, and I firmly believe in the ideology of you don't break something that's working or don't mess with a good thing. Um, so. I'm going to be working on another mod, but in this mod's focus, what I will be working on is I'm going to be trying to clean up the last bit of camera issues that exist, specifically regarding uh, shift cameras, kind of weird, the roll cameras, kind of weird. So I'm, I'm going to be working on those stuff. 
I'm also going to be working on fixes to control because right now the control is based off of WASD. I don't like that. That means if you're using a controller, if you rebind your keys, shit will go crazy very quickly. So I'm going to be working on changing the input system so it actually works based off forward movement, left movement, right movement, and so on. Uh, those are some of my goals to kind of polish up the experience. I think the first person mod was a very fun experience for me to make a mod for Paul World. I hope all of you have been getting some enjoyment out of the mod. I'm happy to say we've crossed 2,000 downloads on both Curse and Nexus, which is great to see. Great to see people are enjoying this mod. So if you like this idea uh, and you want to try out the mod for yourself, there will be a link in the description. But for the rest of this video, I'll just show off some footage of the updated version. Yeah, this is the first released, and I hope to see you all next. Yeah. <laughs>